Good morning, Cincinnati students. I'm back with another music at home challenge for you. I am going to challenge you to combine music and art together. Now I know that some of you have done something like what I'm about to explain with Miss Fabian in art class before, and I've been talking with her about how I really wanted to do this, and this is a great time to do a project like this. So this is Kandinsky inspired artwork. And what that is, is it's based off of an artist who lived in the late 1800s, early 1900s, and he created artwork based on inspiration from listening to different music. And so if you go to my YouTube channel here and you go under playlists, you'll find a playlist called Songs for Kandinsky Inspired Lesson. And there's a short video that talks about who Kandinsky was, who he was as an artist, and um, it shows different artwork that he did based on music he listened to. And so last night I decided I would do the same thing. So I listened to two different pieces of music. The first one I listened to was a piece by John Coltrane. He was a jazz artist. And I listened to um, a really great jazz bassoonist named Paul Hansen playing one of his pieces. And so I just listened and kind of drew and I was inspired to just draw some music notes on a staff. It was very light, it was very cool, and so I used some cool colors and I just tried to make it a little bit, I didn't want to get too crazy with it. So it's it's pretty, pretty sparse, but that's what inspired me. I listened to it once and then I listened to it a second time while I was coloring and drawing. And then I also wrote music a couple times. You know, I'm not the greatest artist, but that's what inspired me. And the nice thing about this type of listening and artwork is there's no real wrong way right now. All I want you to do is listen to music and then create. So that was a jazz piece by John Coltrane played by a jazz bassoonist. And then the second piece I listened to was a piece called Bolero by a composer named Maurice Ravel. And he also lived in the 1900s and was very famous for composing then. And he composed a lot of ballet music. And so one of the pieces that he composed was called Bolero and it was meant to be a ballet. It's a very popular piece of music still performed today. I'm going to quietly play it here in the background so you can hear it a little bit. It's a really beautiful piece. It's got a Spanish flair to it. You can kind of hear the dance feel of it. What I really love about the music is it flows and it sounds almost very fluid, but at the same time it's very light and dancey and each instrument that plays a solo sounds great by itself, but the longer it plays, the more it sounds even better when you add all the instruments. So as I started drawing, I first kind of did just these little wavy lines. That's kind of, I felt that flow and it really made me feel like when I play this piece in orchestras, I've played it a few times, I really go for the flow before I go for the light and dancey part. And I added some blue because that flow almost feels like water going down gently down a river or a creek. And then I have all these different designs that I put in some other spots and that made me think of the different instrument families I was listening to. So this might be the solo you hear from the flute at the beginning and then the clarinet and then there's the bassoon next. That's what's playing now. Later there's going to be trombones and trumpets playing solos. So I was thinking about the different instruments playing by themselves. But then I added these lines across because I wanted to also show that yes, this flow is really smooth. Yes, there's different instruments that play by themselves and there's these really beautiful solos, but it's all still connected. So these lines here made me just think of connecting all the music together. Again, this is just what I pictured and I just kind of did a free draw and free color. There wasn't a right or wrong for me to do this. I listened to a couple of my favorite musicians, favorite pieces of music, and I really loved what I was listening to, and I just let the, the colors go onto the page. I put a whole bunch of highlighters and markers and pencils out, and then just went for it. So I'm going to encourage you to try the same thing. So again, if you go into my YouTube channel here, and you go under playlists, you'll find songs for Kandinsky inspired lesson. And there's a few different pieces that I listed. So the one I'm listening to now is Bolero. 
If you go into that playlist, you'll also see some other ballet pieces. There's one called Scheherazade. There's a piece called In the Hall of the Mountain King that a lot of us have listened to when we've been working on tempo and speed of music. There's a piece called Appalachian Spring. That's a really long piece, but it's another ballet and it has lots of different themes in it. So as you draw and listen to that, you might have a whole bunch of different things showing up on your paper. There's another jazz piece called Giant Steps, really fun piece. There's also a short biography that tells you more about the, the artist that inspired this type of lesson. Now, as you are doing this, if you wanna to listen to a different piece of music and draw, go for it. You don't have to do one of the ones in my playlist. Those are just ones that I like to listen to and I thought would be fun to draw and create some art to, but you can listen to whatever you'd like. And if you do create your own artwork like I did, I would love for you to share it with me so you can have your families email it to me. You can send it to your teacher and have your teacher email it to me. I'd love to see what you do and be sure to tell me what piece of music you listened to that inspired that. So have fun with some Kandinsky inspired artwork.